If I was doing a talk show, I would do the kind of show that comes on just once a month with amazing guests. And this time all I can offer you is a compilation of the funniest moments in talk show history. Have fun! Let's start with Jimmy Kimmel with the cast of the Avengers in Stitches as he shows more and more suggestive fan art of the relationship between Tony Stark and Bruce Banner. Wow. And um, you can see you guys just kind of palling around and hanging out in a very much. <laughs> These are, uh, <laughs> these are, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want that one. That's this amazing. one. <laughs> That's one. That's one. <laughs> It appears that David Schwimmer has not been doing well since his iconic role in Friends, as evidenced by these photos of him permanently shoplifting in the UK. Last year, when someone who looks like you was arrested for stealing, right? It was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I got, um, I got a message from a buddy of mine saying, have you seen this, the Blackpool police? You know, uh, and people... Pe did I you guess... even know where Blackpool was? No. Uh... First of all, I did not know Kevin Hart could move that fast. But poor Kevin wasn't ready when Jimmy Fallon, with the help of Robert Irwin's team, brought an unusual animal onto the uh, set. What animals did you bring uh, for us tonight? This is Giselle. Oh! So <laughs> Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Stop. Come on, man. Oh, okay, no, no Come surprises. On, man. It's an ostrich. Oh, it's, it's a baby ostrich. You it's can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> the babies, they make this little chirping noise. Isn't that amazing? You know what she's saying? So cute. I want some little black man. That's what she's <laughs> no, brother. No. If you have a guest like Vin Diesel, don't take things a little too far like Craig Ferguson did in this interview with Vin Diesel as he questions about his shaving habits. Oh did it tonight? Is that, you can't like shave your entire body. <laughs> this is guy, this guy's help here. A no! <laughs> They asked me to ask you. What? Yeah. I mean, they were like, ask him. Before you come out, they're like, ask him if he shaves his whole body. Help me. Ask him, does he go completely or is it a little airstrip? What does he no! do? Yeah. They asked. It's no secret the most successful people in the world are odd, but I guess that's too much. In this clip, Oprah Winfrey explaining her unusual toilet roll habits to travel like Noah. Because at my house, at my house, I don't know if this happens at your house, but at my house, when the, the toilet roll is checked regularly, and when it's been checked, like after you go into the bathroom, yes. somebody will come in and it's folded they into fold a little, little triangle. triangle. Like yes. you live in a hotel? Yeah, it's like folded in a triangle every time. Pete Davidson explains why he lied to Alec Baldwin when questioned about how skinny he was. Pete then responds with a rather unusual workout routine. So he came up to me and he was like, what do you do? And I, and I didn't want to be rude and say like, I just still have metabolism. <laughs> I'm not in my mid fifties. <laughs> I just wake up like this. So, I, I, to make him feel better, I was like, oh man, I do 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups every day. And he was like, got it. Pink loses her mind and composure when Johnny Depp walks onto the set of the show. How could you blame her? Johnny, go see if, see if Michael Keaton is in the, uh, in the, the <laughs> We all love Jennifer Aniston, but fans are were shocked when she walks onto the set and destroys everything. In an interview with Jonathan Ross, Demi Lovato offers advice to men on how to interact with women both inside and outside the bedroom. So guys, make sure to pull out your notebooks. I, I wouldn't say dated. What, what, I told what, you not to talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> so Dan, did you like the experience? Were British men fun compared to American men? Yeah, it's just really funny because um, when, they, when they like dirty talk, it's really proper. <laughs> In this funny clip, Jonathan Ross compels Kent Harrington to show how he pranked his girlfriend on April Fools with a fake decapitated head in the fridge. Here's his girlfriend's reaction. <laughs> she 
dived <laughs> across yeah, yeah. the room to save the British. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's what she saw. Here we have Robin Williams being hilarious while on a cooking show with Martha Stewart in a moment that will forever be cherished. And luckily, 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 we are going to mix up the rub and you're going to rub it into the meat. Wow. <laughs> okay. See, that shuts him up. Luckily that I had that experience from the ages 12 yes. to 22. <laughs> Although Craig Ferguson is a witty man, he's nothing compared to his robot helper, Geoff, who makes fun of Ricky Gerald's as he sit it in the guest chair. Poor Ricky wasn't prepared at all. <laughs> I can't move it because I'll crush the sloth. <laughs> right. right, you're... A, is, that, is that a sex thing, That's crushing sex the sloth? Thing. Yes, it is. Yeah. During an interview with Conan O'Brien, Bill Hader shares stories of his time with Paul Root on SNL when Paul Root suddenly bursts onto the set and surprises him. Decided not to do it. <laughs> Next one is Will Smith giving a flawless impersonation of the famous Arnold Schwarzenegger on The Grand Norton Show. Arnold said, if you're going to be a movie star, <laughs> the movies can't only be successful in America. You've got to go to every country in the world. You have to think of yourself as a politician running for the job of biggest movie star in the world. <laughs> Here comes a great moment between Ryan Gosling and Conan O'Brien as they react to one of the most iconic scenes from the famous Notebook movie. Although Rachel McAdams is great, she's nothing compared to Conan. It wasn't over. It still isn't. Celebrities can always count on an entertaining and fascinating moment to The Allen Show. As this clip shows, Chris Pratt being forced to explain a sentence about donuts to Allen while holding a space here in his mouth. Donuts. Bosses love free donuts. You know, bosses love free donuts. Something about free donuts. Bosses. Bosses love free donuts. Yeah, they do. Following the insane success of the Rush Hour movies, Chris Tucker explains to Jane Gordon what it was like traveling around China with Jackie Chan. In China with Jackie Chan, is it just ridiculous? He's the man, Jackie owned everything. He said, you like hotel? I said, yeah, it's my hotel, that's my hotel. No. So I gotta do more movies. <laughs> Walks around with like 15 people and then I'm like in the back of the 15 people. Jackie, wait up, hold up! <laughs> this don't look right, man. They are playing a game, but well, they are a game went wrong in an improper but amusing and funny manner when the host was hinting at her through actions. Both took it wrong and laughter turned on. Shoot. Do. <laughs> Shoot. Do. <laughs> The famous actor who played Gollum in Lord of the Rings reading some of Donald Trump's most controversial tweets. The fake news media has never been so wrong or so dirty. Purposely incorrect stories and phony sources to meet their agenda of hate. Sad. David Letterman's show never disappoints you. Here we have Chris Rock being insanely funny while discussing his family's antics and being rich on the show. How are the girls now? How old are they? Who's got it better than our kids, Dave? Yeah, well, maybe. Rich I hope. bastards. <laughs> <laughs> my God. I have never liked rich kids in my life. And now I have that two of them are mine, Dave. <laughs> yeah. In this clip, Andy Samberg breaking down all the crazy outfits he has worn for Seth Meyers on the various shows they have hosted together. Also, you will find out what Andy hates the most. Uh, okay. And then, and you know I hate Joffrey. You hate Joffrey. He's like your least favorite. You think he's a bad dude. I think he's a bad guy. I'm in the minority, but I stand <laughs> by it. And then also when you hosted the ESPYs, I dressed up like an octopus there guy. There you go, yeah. <laughs> I did that for you. Uh-huh. And you know I hate octopus. You hate octopus. <laughs> Octopi? Octopi.
Russell Brand and his sexual charisma in this clip. What else can I say? <laughs> I'll just be here. Russell, look away. With my sexual charisma. All right, there you go. <laughs> Completely shocked in the brutality of YouTube comments, Jimmy Kimmel explains one of the worst ones he received from the infamous Big Nuts 55. I spent a lot of time online, and you know what the most dangerous neighborhood in the country is right now? The comment section on every web page. <laughs> People are so unbelievably harsh with these comments that it's shock. I've spent many sleepless nights thinking about the terrible things Big Nuts 55 said about my double chin. During an interview with Neil Patrick Harris, Craig Ferguson makes it look like he's roasting his producer before delivering a brilliant punchline and turning the joke on another colleague instead. No, I get scared enough. Look at that, I got that bitch over there scared. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I got enough scares going on in my life. And then, and then there's Beth right next to it. <laughs> Prime time! Boing. Boing. Yeah. Nailed, it. Nailed it! When you talk about the legendary Jackie Chan, you can't anticipate anything that could happen right now because, well, Jackie Chan is the kind of guy who can pull off any trick whenever he feels like it. In a typical Allen Show fashion, here we have a guest being scared for their life. The best part is that it comes right after Miley admits something truly unique to Alan. Anymore. Uh, nothing, nothing, no, nothing. Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Alan seriously has no filter as she compels Adele to shut up and eat some red dress right off the counter of a smoothie store. Actors have huge personalities, so when this fan asks James Gordon a question, Neil Patrick Harris has no problem waltzing onto the stage and leading the way. Hi, James. This is actually a question for Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> right, well, he isn't. He's not. This isn't. That's not what the. He. I, that's my job. Okay, Neil Patrick Harris isn't here. He's up. I'm getting ready for the show. Okay, so right, no, there's no, no way we could do it because Neil here. Patrick I'm Harris. <laughs> That's what might happen when you call a black cat to a talk show. No one can stop their loud shouting laughs when she has to choose those papers and acts funny. When the host asks her to throw them out of her mouth, but instead of that, she dramatically becomes unconscious. Sick for a week. You, you won't be out of the egg for a month. <laughs> Noah is a supporter of Keegan Michael Key, but he can't understand how Keegan managed to secure a role in the upcoming Lion King movie. It was. It was, a, it was a dream come true. It was like coming home and a brand new dream coming true at the same time. And I just want to be able to do more of that. That's amazing. Know? Speaking of dreams coming true, um, my dream was to be in The Lion King, and I'm not. Um, <laughs> and I see, I see that you are, oh, here, you I, are I, going I, to be in The Lion I, I King. Oh, that, this one. Oh, I am. I am yeah. going to be in The Lion you, King. You are going to be in The Lion <laughs> King. How the oh, did that happen? <laughs> Come on. I think celebrities need to make fun of one another to retain humility. Fortunately, Craig Ferguson never gives up on his pursuit, as here, he makes fun of Jay Leno on a memorial day and can barely hold it together. Hello? Hey, it's uh, Jay Leno. Jay Leno, Hi. how you doing? Good to talk to you out here cooking some meat, you know, cooking a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> 1799? Yeah, they're throwing the tape for free. Uh, uh, Studio 54. Uh, 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 it's like Jay Leno is a fly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing when I see those hands, dude. <laughs> How the host slapped him, but impressively, the great Hollywood star did not even stop smiling, but surprisingly, he also was laughing at the same time. I wish every show was that funny as this clip. <laughs> That's not true! That's not true! That's not true! I didn't hear you that hard! That's ridiculous! Craig Ferguson has a weird ability to discuss the most bizarre topics with his guests. Which is exactly what happens here when he questions Kat Dennis about her donut preferences. Do you ever, uh, do you talk to donuts when you eat them? I like my donuts so fat their holes are closed. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
Does that make me creepy? I don't know. That's gross. Really? How do you like your donuts then? Thin with a big <laughs> hole? Do you know what you can't do after watching these two funniest faces? Stop laughing. I guess, but what you might try is to stop yourself from those loud ways of laughter. This is what they can only offer for you. In this funny clip, Mo Gilligan and Martin Freeman share a funny skit on the show where Mo wants Martin to sign more and more memorabilia for him and his family. The pile of things is endless. Hello. Yes, Mo. Thank nice you so much you. for doing the show. You're very welcome. I really appreciate it. But there are a few little bits in the in your dressing room. Do? That's it. Yes, yes. Listen, I've got a few more bits. I was wondering if you could just sign them and stuff. I've got one of, one of these as well. If you can. That's mental, Mo. That's that's too much. moment happened on the Jimmy Fallon show when Jimmy surprised Taylor Swift by pulling up a video of her while she was high on medication after getting her wisdom teeth removed. Surgery. Video taken by her mom. Take a look at this. It's real. Okay, so <laughs> she found a snack. It wasn't the one I wanted. Stop. You can't cry. That, that's not it's supposed uh, to be what you're doing. Yeah, I try to get this okay, one. Okay, let me get the other one for you. For, okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This one, but what do we do with this now? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It's mine. But it doesn't have a head. Honey, it's fine. I don't need a head. Okay, okay I'm, I'm crying. I'm crying. Don't. You don't want to cry. Mm -hmm. That's not what you want to do. Sometimes it doesn't go your way. <laughs> Don't fall asleep eating a banana, okay? I'm not asleep. My mind is alive. Okay. <laughs> I think any of you know who Tom Cruise is, but many of you never thought he would be seen in any humorous manner. You see how badly they edited this picture and instead of anger, he seemed amused and started to laugh. But the next laugh of his was just unexpected. Well, you haven't seen anything yet that because here's you <laughs> hanging off Nick Cage. Is that <laughs> I'm so happy this is happening. You're going to have to pay me for this. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is my favorite thing. What yeah. am I saying? I forgot. Well, my name is Sofia Vergara, yeah. My name is Sofia Vergara. <laughs> Selma Hank just shocked herself. The host gave her that childish pistol and she pulled the trigger, but at that moment she was frightened. Although later on a smile came to their faces, but at the moment their funny expression anyhow got captured. <laughs> Not yet. It's okay, so pretty what? Oh, okay. I like it. Watch out, everybody. 